my goodness. Is everyone doing well? Yeah? Is everyone so happy to be here? That's great. I don't know why Chipper is handing me objects, but that's for Suiting 101 in a nutshell. So, welcome everybody. My name is Gail Crossbane. This is for Suiting 101. Uh, I started doing this panel my second year of Anthrocon with some really great friends, C.P. Coyote and uh, T.K. Wolfpup. And since then, I have kind of taken it over, and I'm being stopped, and it has melded into a weird <laughs> phenomenon of craziness and entertainment. Y'all really love watching the videos online, <laughs> which is very good. <laughs> You're gonna make me get the microphone because you're being so loud! <laughs> It's Cole! And 
going down the line, going down the line. We have a another fresh face. Also, unboxed yesterday, insanely, on the first two crews, it's nice Rezzy! Wolf. Nice wolf! Nice wolf! Next to Rezzy, we have a guy. You may have heard of him. You may have seen his animations. He's pretty cool. Uh, it's the incredible Jib! Yeah. And next to that, we have an amazing shooty patootie from Boston who also got his suit during all of the chaos. So this is kind of an Anthrocon debut. It is Vile! debuted this year, it's the amazing Killa DeVille. Ooh, yes. And next to them is a first shooter that I absolutely fell in love with when I watched their BLFC dance comp a couple years ago. It is the incredible Milo. <laughs> next to them, we have a Bostonian drunk. It's Pabst. <laughs> <laughs> the sweetest, who would never throw a beer can at me, adorable Melvis! Yeah, and next up, oh, you're so cute, right behind Melvis, you could just come up front. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Spooky skull face. Ooh. Ooh, scary, but they're actually the biggest sweetheart, it's Keithy! them rocking the eyebrows. Really cool. So dope. Goggles that they made. It's Clavius. <laughs> wow, and next to them, I can't even see because Clavius' ears are so tall. It's another beauty. Patooty, who debuted at AE this year. Give it up for Lily. <laughs> and next to them, we have all the way from across the Atlantic. Coming to Boston to visit us, a great person. It is the amazing Fabs! <laughs> and next to Fabs, we have another adorable hyena. Who was Get the heck out, Spudge! <laughs> Get out! We have already seen you! Next to Fabs, we have another adorable hyena who was unboxed yesterday. Woo. Named after the month that they were born in. I did. 
did it. All right, so first learning 101, one of the big things is you as a person take up so much space. You take up more space when you're in a fursuit. Even if it's like a skin high fursuit, you're still taking up more space, Oops, and you are becoming an animal creature. So because of that, we need to keep that in mind when we are doing certain things, all right? So first up, one of the things we're going to talk about is posing. Something that's going to happen a lot at conventions is people are going to want to take your foot. Might be on their phone, might be on like fancy camera, but regardless, you should always keep in mind how can I perform my character, but just simply through a single pose. So what we're going to do, we're going to have all the first suitors spread out. I'm going to say three, two, one, pose. And when I do, they're going to get into a solo pose that describes their character, OK? And so this is something to keep in mind when you get your fursuit or you're planning your fursuit and you're thinking about how your character performs and interacts with others, it's very critical to keep in mind posing because you're going to pose for so many, many, many photos. Many, many. So with that being said, fursuiters, think about it. Think what you're going to want to do. And I'm counting down. First one. Three, two, one, pose. you pass out but you know what if the photographer can get that picture in those five seconds gonna be cute if they can get it now gonna be silly so this is a great pose because we can see the cute beans which is very good who doesn't love some beans and you could even take it above and they're gonna look small and adorable this is a very good pose that you can do a lot of things with as a photographer and the first shooter is gonna get a great great photo out of it all right <laughs> moving to the back we have Jim Cody the robot. <laughs> and this is this is Jim saying, I give up. <laughs> and this is Jim saying, I give up, but I'm a little gay. <laughs> did activities during the pandemic. That's crazy. I sat 
<laughs> and I, I ate a lot of cereal. So I'm really proud of you for basically doing a push-up. You, you <laughs> held it pretty long. I'm proud of you. But that was a very cool pose because think something you could do is a photographer could also lay in front of them, get a really cool uh, head-on shot, or they could get one from the side. There's a lot that you can do if you are in a laying down pose or pose close to the ground. And now he's just being cute as heck, being a nice wolf. Very nice, very good. Nice wolf. Next up, we have Melvis doing a little bend with the paws. We're getting a little bug beggy paws. It's very cute, very adorable. The tongue is out, your glove is out, you're upside down. They might turn into the exorcist. You don't know, very cute. We love it, we love it so much. And again, spreading what their character is simply by posing. You know the character is extremely exuberant and cute and adorable. And oh, do you want belly rubs? Don't give belly rubs to a fursuiter that you don't know. Ask permission to give belly rubs. But if you do know them, you can give them belly rubs because you're very cute. You're very cute. Oh my god, okay. Next up, uh, we're going to talk about Cole. So Cole is here giving us a really good one because they are interacting with a prop that they have. They have very cool glasses, and so you might not necessarily notice the glasses at first, but because he is posing, holding the edge of the glasses, that's gonna draw you in. And you might wanna take a full body photo, as well as a portrait of the suitor, and then as a suitor, you get the benefit of multiple photos. So keep that in mind, that if you interact with something on your suit that might not be easily noticeable at first, that will draw the attention to it, and people will go, oh, that's a cool thing. Let's do something with that. So keep that in mind. We're going to have everybody spread, spread, spread. Cole, you're going to go that way, you're going to go that way, you're going to go that way. Yes. Okay, great. Well. Yep. 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 That's about right. That's about right. So this is Ziggy. Ziggy is a handsome fella. A flirty fella. So he's giving us some, some mwah, mwah, you're beautiful. Never change. All right, so this is a great pose because again, you can take so many different angles of this pose and it's gonna look great. And you are getting it under your understanding that because of the pose they're in, this is a more like sexy, flirtatious character. And we love that, we love that. So yeah, this, this is the type of picture, you take it and you're like, whoo, got a little warmer in here. Yeah, it's good stuff, good stuff, Ziggy, good stuff. All right, we're coming on over, we're coming on over, and we have Strange Ballerina. What? We have the floor is too slippery, but B-Boy. <laughs> and now we have definitely broken. <laughs> wow. You could take a picture of this fursuiter from so many different angles and go, that was fun. And you'll walk away and think to yourself, hmm, I wonder if they're actually dead. <laughs> so yeah, really good picture. Very good. I did great pose. Thanks for dying. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That, what you're doing, Kill, is illegal. So, uh, we're going to talk about Chirpy. Chirpy is doing something that's really, really good to do in suit. And that is altering your body so that you have like a different uh, depth. That's the word, depth. Putting one foot in front and one foot back, doing a little bend at the knees, and then having the claws out. You're giving a cool, raw expression, but again, it is more 3D because there's an extension of limbs. Keep that in mind when you're taking pictures, because if you extend out, you're gonna get some really dynamic photos. Good job. <coughs> there we got. Killa. How you doing? Yeah. You wanna do the exact pose you're doing when I saw it? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Kids don't pay attention pose. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, we'll have this talk when you're older. <laughs> Killa is giving this, giving the pose of, uh, I am older now and confident in myself and I will
will do this pose after 9 p.m. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't see anything. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Children, delete that from your phone. <laughs> and finally, we have one of my all-time favorite poses. This is a pose that you do if you are a mascot or you do character work because it is simple, it is perfect, and it exemplifies the concept of, I'm here, take a dang photo of me. <laughs> I'm great. You get the paw up, so you get that dynamicness. You get one paw extended out, so you can see the paw pads. You get a paw up, you can see these paw pads. That color is going to pop. Eddie, being a bear, a naturally colored bear, means that if we can see the paw pads here, it's going to look a lot sharper in a photo. So, this is a professional at work. Well done. Thank you, Eddie. All right, group two, come on out. Group one, if you need to think about in your character what you want to do. So, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, thinking about what your character would do if you're asked for a photo. All right. Everybody? Three, two, two. Find a new joke! Oh my god! 
age. Nothing is forgotten. I hate the internet! I want dial-up back! All I do! Listen, early 2000s, Neopets slapped. So, we're moving down to Keithy. And Keithy here, big haunches, big paws. Thick thighs. Thick thighs. Big hands. So this is a good pose because we're seeing all of the costume. Whereas if Keithy was posing like this, we wouldn't really see how good the legs are, how big they are. If they were posing, posing like that, you might think they're not even paying attention to me. They don't even know I'm here. They're just walking away. Bye, Keithy. Bye-bye. Big pose. Milo, what are you doing? Ooh! Oh, Barton, you got the front row seat to the booty. <laughs> the booty. This is a great ex uh, and, uh, blah, 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 example of if you... I am a little flustered, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is a great example of if your fursuit is pretty tight and you have a nub, you can do a cute little booty pick. Cute little booty pick. Just make sure that you aren't doing a cute little booty pick if you're a kid. Okay? That's great. Booty, away for kids. <laughs> away. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> but if you are a big grown up, booty. <laughs> and you get the sassiness of Milo, which does his character very well. Very well. All right, we are moving along. Kiki is making snow angels in the non existent snow. We got Clavius. Clavius, again, haunches out. More or less suits have huge haunches. So you can exemplify that by really getting out, squatting a little bit, and giving us a loom picture. This is a great example of if you're someone like me and you're a weirdo, you lie under the fursuit <laughs> and you take a picture of them like this, and you're like, yay, Godzilla is real. <laughs> yeah, so that's a win. That's a winning pose. That's a winning pose, very good. Caps, what do you do? A Bostonian drunk. <laughs> wow! You are literally just an advertisement for a PBR and Harpoon IPA. <laughs> I love you. But again, another example of if you fursuit with a prop, use that prop in the photos. You don't want it to just be there. You're putting in all the effort of carrying it around. Bring it around with you. Good job, Paps. Get on, fly! <laughs> Queso. Queso is also boom. Literally, look at my thighs. <laughs> this is the I am a more or less shooter. The thighs are thunderous. Look at them. Look at them in all their glory. I just realized you hang your badge off your tongue. That's disturbing. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. Yay! Yeah. All right, now we're moving on to Vile. Vile is also Vile. Vile, they are giving us, again, not a pose for children. Sorry. <laughs> this is a pose of. I'm Kim Kardashian, but better. <laughs> That's what this is. Victoria's Secret? Nah, vile secret. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the sass, the cuteness, the funness of vile, all balled up into one. This is a great pose for them. Very, very good. Thank you, vile. All right, Tater, we're going to talk about you first. Tater said, there are other people getting photos. Me. How about me? I am the only person in photos. Tater is the only no. person in photos. Only Tater. No. Only Tater and Little Potato. No. Tater no. is a bully. No. <laughs> you're not a bully, Tater. You're just, you're just a potato. I'm tr no, this will be in the news. Oh, my potato's here. You're just a potato friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I like this. Okay. Good job, Tater. I, I did it. And it's good. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Tater. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
But, but seriously, that was an adorable pose. And specifically, if you are with your friends and they are posing, and you know the photo has already been taken, jumping in front of them for an additional photo is awesome. The photos are great. If someone's filming, everybody's going to get a good laugh. That's how I get all my photos. How do you, baby? How do you? Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have a really cute photo because it's two yeans in love. Aww. And they're putting their booties yeah. together and their tails yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 2005 called them on their crappy joke back. <laughs> All right. So this is a great picture because we have suits from the same maker. We have both hyenas, but you can see the amazing difference between the two characters, and you're getting the cuteness of the tails intertwined. This is a wonderful couple's pose. Very, very good, very, very good. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, we're doing so cute, so cute. Uh, Lily, do you, want to, do you want to stand up there and do your pose so you can see a little better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lily's, oh my God. Lily's just giving you Melt your heart. Aww. So cute. This is a great pose because Lily has the head, the hands, the tail. So because of that, Lily, she's going to want to make sure that you can see all of these beautiful fursuit parts. Because just because it's a partial doesn't mean it's any less than a full suit. You can do so much with that, including wonderful outfits that work with the whole character. So by Lily turning around and giving us a little sass, we can see the whole suit. Very good, very clever. Then we have... <laughs> Tire! Tire is definitely not actively summoning something. <laughs> definitely not going to, to murder anyone or scare anyone. They are simply posing for the camera and waving to their friend who they love. Fun, happy wave! <laughs> that was a really good pose, Kyer. Great job. Excellent. So good. Loved it. Mwah. Oh, right. Uh, it might one of us. One of us. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. She's fine. She's fine. It happens a lot. In the meantime, we're going to take over and do a panel called "My Dogs Are Great." Excuse me. No, 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 sir. sir. Excuse me, sir. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I feel nude. <laughs> All right, I'm getting robbed. I got robbed. All right. Wow. Uh, have you ever uh, had someone take your shoes off in front of a lot of people? Because I feel so naked. <laughs>
real guild mate, Alex. Oh, God, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Where's the other one? What is this? That's a Give it to me. It's like a really bad I spy book. No, oh, give me my hat. <laughs> All right, we're better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. They're funny. <laughs> yeah, but even when you're not having an interaction, he is walking from point A, this right here is point A, everybody, to point B, but you're doing significantly more interesting and better than I just did. That would do. Boo, boring human. Boo. Adorable expression 
It's very, very fun. It's a very fun way to get from point A to point B. Uh, Jim, are you next? Or Nar? Oh, Jim! Oh my god, Jim, how do you get from point A to point B? Sniffing. Sniffing. 
Where's the cheese?
All right, we are we are keeping this train rolling because we got a lot more to do. All right, Keithy, how do we work from point A to point B? Gay pirates? Are, gay pirates. Gay pirates? They were mostly gay back then. Uh, gay pirates! <laughs> <laughs> and now, ye, ye have a sword! And ye are at battle with each other on the ship! You're at battle with each other! Yar! Yar, you swashbuckling! You swashbuckling! Yes, best! Oh no! What's that coming over here from the left side? 
Does anybody have orange juice? Anybody have orange juice? I'm so thirsty. I'm the orange
There must be the furry Hunger Games. And there is only one way to survive the furry Hunger Games. And all of you are the participants. So to survive, you must complete a task. That task is when I count to five, you must stand behind someone wearing a hat. All right. And with that, to survive, the Hunger Games have begun. Three, and one, two, three, four, five. Survive! Survive! If you are a first student wearing the hat, you uh, beat my game. All right, let's see, let's analyze. You could use the audience, but a lot of you chose to die. That's fair. You survived? Well done. Good choice of hat. No, no, no.
to life before your eyes. <laughs> Worship the deity. Worship the deity, or you will be sacrificed. I do.